Hello, it's Nosy Boy, and today I wanted to go over the balance changes that I think this game is going to receive. So at the top tier, we have the characters that need big buffs. They are in a lot of trouble right now. They need a lot of help. And then towards the bottom, we have characters that need big nerfs and need to be killed. And then, you know, the middle ground where it's like they might need a slight buff. They might need a slight nerf or they're balanced and they really don't need to be changed. Now, there is some potentially good news. We do know a couple of balance changes that are going to be coming. Let's see. Let's just get them onto the tier list so we can talk about them first. And then who else was it? Oh, yeah. So three of these characters are getting nerfed as confirmed and then Wonder Woman is getting buffed as confirmed. I don't think Wonder Woman needs big buffs. I actually think this character is already fairly strong. I just think she's lacking a couple of tools to help her compete against the very best characters in the game. But a lot of those characters are probably going to be nerfed. So you want to be careful with buffing Wonder Woman. I honestly would leave her in balanced because I think the nerfs to the top tiers are going to be a buff to her. But we'll put her in here because she's already been confirmed to be getting some buffs. As for Bugs Bunny, Superman, and Finn, I actually think Bugs Bunny needs a lot of nerfs. He's the best up close character in the game and he is classified as a mage. That is really unfair and stupid. Finn and Superman though, I think just need slight nerfs. I think if they can fix the hitboxes on a lot of their moves and they can take away Superman's ability to kill at 10%, I think these characters will be perceived as a lot more fair. I don't think they need giant nerfs because these characters aren't really performing at the highest highest level. I have never seen a Finn or a Superman in a grand finals for a tournament for example. But they do need nerfs, they're a little on the strong side. And these characters actually tell us a lot about the balance state of the game. And I think they're going to be looking at which characters the casual audience is complaining about to address because they don't want the game to be toxic and they don't want people to leave the game out of frustration. So I'm going to be using that as a basis for this tier list. And we're going to start with Arya Stark, who I think is fine. I think she's pretty damn good actually, but not a lot of people are that strong with her. I want them to leave Arya Stark alone because she is kind of difficult to play, and I want to see how her meta develops over time. Batman I think needs slight nerfs. I would be pretty upset if they killed him. Batman is a character that needs to be strong for this game. Batman is the biggest Warner Brothers IP that they have access to. There is no IP that is worth more money no IP that performs better. Batman needs to be strong because a lot of people want to play as Batman. It's kind of like how Mario always needs to be at least usable in Smash. You need certain characters to be good. Harley Quinn, I'm not gonna buy into the propaganda. I think Harley Quinn's fine. I think one of the things coming with this balance patch after Evo, that's when they're going to patch it. They didn't wanna patch it before Evo because they didn't want to affect the tournament too much. The only thing they really did was kill some bugs for Iron Giant, but he's banned at EVO anyways, so it doesn't matter. And they also needed to take care of Taz because he was toxic for new players. Harley Quinn is not underpowered. Harley Quinn is one of the characters that has a zero to death if you are good enough to execute it. I've actually ran into people to do that to me. Um, it is insanely powerful. The character is really good, the only thing is this character is waiting for the other unfair characters to get their end lag. Because with this game, a lot of characters when they whiff a move, um, they can just dodge cancel or jump cancel to be safe. And Harley Quinn can't do that as well anymore, she actually has whiff recovery. So if you whiff a move, you can actually be punished. And that's a good thing, I think this character is what the other top tiers should be brought down to. Because she still has a lot of nasty stuff. She still has her zero to death combos. She still has the ability to kill you really early with her up special. Do not buy into the propaganda. This character is not the worst character in the game. If somebody looks at Taz in the current state in Harley Quinn and unironically says Harley Quinn is a worse character, that person probably plays Harley Quinn. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, Jake, I think Jake might need slight buffs or... <laughs> Probably big buffs, to be honest, 
because Jake, at the highest level, does really nothing. I have not seen a Jake player in 2v2s in a very long time. However, I think the projectile characters getting nerfed are going to do a lot for Jake. I think he just has bad matchups into the best characters in the game. And when those best characters in the game get nerfed, that will be a non-direct buff to Jake. I do think he needs more help than other characters in the cast. I think Garnet is actually on the side of the cast that needs a couple of buffs. I know a lot of casual players complain about her because she's free and she has armor. But when you realize that half the characters in the game have armor breaking moves and that Garnet's jab is punishable on whiff, and it's one of the easiest moves to punish in the game. If you're fighting a Garnet that just jabs constantly, wait for her to use the one where she slams the ground and then jump in on her and punish her for free because she just whiffed her move and she's in a lot of recovery. Rain Dog, I think, needs slight nerfs. I think a lot of these projectile characters need to be tweaked slightly. I think this character is fine for the most part. I don't think he's OP, but he definitely needs a little bit of a nerf. Shaggy, I think, is fine. I don't really think Shaggy's that OP. I think he's actually really easy to counter. I know a lot of people have issues with the side special, but you can just hit the dodge button. <laughs> I do think a couple hitboxes need tweaking, but I also think that's true for most of the cast. I think every character in the game has at least one or two jank hitboxes. But I think Shaggy's pretty fair, um, which makes sense. They said he's the point of balance for the game. And you know, if the developers are saying that this character is the balanced character that they're trying to design around, then I feel like, yeah, he's probably the balanced character. Steven Universe, I think, is going to be fine. I don't think he needs a buff or a nerf. I think this character is actually incredibly strong, but is really high execution, and the effort just isn't worth it when you could put that time into like a Bugs Bunny and these Steven combos that you're learning as Steven are literally zero to deaths as Bugs Bunny. You know what I mean? So I think Steven is going to be fine, especially when they nerf the top tiers. I think Steven is going to become a lot more valuable. I don't think they need to make any changes to this character. Um, Taz needs some fucking help. So what happened to Taz is I think he launched with kind of an underwhelming kit but he also launched with one of the best moves in the game with Tornado. And Tornado was really frustrating. It was really frustrating for new players to deal with. Um, but if you want proof as to how this character was played even at the top level, I think Kosalix is his name. He's a professional player and he was pretty bummed over the Taz nerfs and was like Tornado wasn't even that good. It didn't even need that much of a change. And then Kosalix, there are clips of Kosalix just only using Tornado. I don't think Kosalix is a bad player or a scrub or anything, but I think that was one of Taz's only good moves, and that's genuinely how you had to play the character sometimes, especially if there's a lot of projectiles on the other side. So I think this character kind of needs a bit of help. He has not recovered at all from the Tornado nerfs. I think he's easily the worst character in the game right now. I'm even going to put Jake below him. But yeah, I think this character could use some big buffs. Alrighty, and that's going to bring us to the Iron Giant. And contrary to belief, I don't think the Iron Giant is up here or even right here. I think the Iron Giant is balanced. I don't think he needs to be buffed and I don't think he needs to be nerfed. I think they need to leave this character alone. They need to continue removing the bugs, which is going to act as a nerf for him. So I guess technically he's in slight nerfs. But the bugs are not how the character was intended to be played, and they are not intended to be in the game, so I'm not really going to count those as nerfs. I think once the bugs are finally all gone from this character, we need to leave him the hell alone and see how his meta develops. I'd say give him like a month at least after the bugs are all removed before we do anything drastic. Um, but yeah, the notorious Iron Giant main is saying that we probably shouldn't be buffing him. I think he's actually really good, especially in duos. Now, I'm going to talk about Tom and Jerry and Velma at the same time. Boom. Boom. We need to kill these characters, okay? The mage class having some of the best. And I'm going to count Velma. I'm going to count her as the mage class because she plays just like another mage. 
it's just that now she's also going to debuff you and heal your allies so she's going to debuff the enemies heal her allies and do the same damage that most mages do it's really annoying the mages in this game other than rain dog have some of the best disjointed hitboxes in the game they have some of the best up close normals in the game and bugs and velma aren't even all that light velma is one of the heavier characters in the entire roster even after the weight change she is still around the same weight as wonder woman that is insane if you're going to make these characters mages and you're going to make them really good from full screen you need to make their up close normals not the best up close normals in the entire game and if they are the best normals in the entire game they need to be light so they're the first characters to get killed the fact that these characters bugs and velma especially can live so long the fact that bugs can just hide in the ground forever the fact that tom and jerry i think tom and jerry is probably the most balanced mage in the game but they are still very very overtuned these characters have been problematic since the closed alpha they continue to be problematic and i feel like we haven't found the solution yet and i'm really hoping that the evo patch is the solution required for these characters not to absolutely run the game you might say tom and jerry is fair but that's because tom and jerry is hard to play um void just won a 1v1 tournament as tom and jerry it was his first time playing in a tournament and yes void is cracked void is insanely good but i feel like even void says that tom and jerry are one of the best characters in the entire game and that's going to bring us to lebron james who i actually forgot about but i'm pretty sure it's already been confirmed that he's getting buffs i think tony said he was going to give this character more combo potential and that lebron was too honest so we don't even have to rate this one lebron james is getting buffed i hope they don't give him big buffs because i don't think he needs them i think he's in the wonder woman tier where a couple slight buffs would be nice but this character is pretty nasty in the right hands already so i'd be pretty concerned if they're going to hugely buff him into the stratosphere but yeah that's going to be my tier list these are the characters that i think are really good well these are the characters that i think are going to be really good and that need some nerfs these are the characters that i think need some love and these characters i think we should just leave the fuck alone okay thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe uh, it really does help a lot leave a like leave a comment unless the comment is annoying then maybe don't leave the comment and with all of that said i'll smell you guys later yeah. 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 Yeah.